Hi, I'm Jordan with GreenFlooringSupply.com. Today we're going to continue our series on EcoCorks. We're on part two of EcoCork. We're going to cover the health and toxicity of cork flooring. With me I've got a sample of the EcoCork Reyes. Um, so just to briefly talk a little bit about the style and design of this floor. Um, really it's got a nice warm brown tone to it, so this will work really well with many different design situations. And the character behind it is a beautiful, almost resembles a bamboo type of character. Um, that's important because it's really going to hide some wear and tear with that character. As well as when this is installed, it really hides where the individual planks are. So it looks like a full uniform floor. So I really like that look of hiding the planks. It really makes it look like a site installed custom hardwood floor, um, but at a price point that's affordable. Um, so now we've kind of covered a little bit about the style and design of this floor. To get into the health and toxicity, which is our topic today, um, we're looking at a three-part system with this flooring. So we have a middle, a, a top, a bottom layer, a middle, and a top layer. So we'll first talk about the bottom layer. Basically, this is natural cork. Um, this is used as the underlayment for the floor. That's going to help give it a little bit of flexibility over imperfections in your subfloor. Um, and this layer is basically natural cork put together with a non-toxic adhesive as the binder. So then we move to the middle layer here, and what we find is that this is a high-density fiberboard. So our high density fiber board is a non-toxic fiber board. Um, basically what that means is that there's no formaldehyde in it. And that's typically what's found in a fiber board product. So if you're looking at a laminate, for instance, I just encourage you to take a look at the MSDS sheet. That gives you all the information on any toxicity in any product. And uh, you can find out typically laminates do have a high amount of uh, formaldehyde in them. So just something to check out. Um, when we get to the top layer here, we're back to the original cork once again. So that natural cork layer is going to give you good cushion of the feet, that additional warmth that you're looking for. So that really covers um, the health and toxicity. Uh, this really becomes evident, you know, the proof is in our Green Guard certification. And so the certification that we have, you can see the tiny little emblem here, um, but it's children and schools. What that means is that it has reached one of the highest thresholds for being non-toxic and it gets that Green Guard certification that it's able to be uh, around children and schools. Um, just a little bit further more on the health and toxicity side. Since this is a solid surface floor, it's able to be easily cleaned. So you would just dampen off this floor. That means you're going to be removing all the dust, dirt, and allergens from your house. That becomes really important when you have dogs, kids, um, maybe you open your windows next to the street. All of that dust, dirt, emissions collects in your home. And if you can remove that by easily cleaning it from your floor, as opposed to getting trapped in something like a carpet, that's going to give you a much higher threshold of health uh, in your home. So be much safer for your family. So today we've covered the health and toxicity. We've talked a little bit about a little bit about eco cork reyes, and uh, next we're going to cover the installation of floating cork flooring. Once again, I'm Jordan with GreenFlooringSupply.com. Please keep in mind that we offer free samples from our website. And uh, we're happy to help in any way possible, whether it's installation questions, pricing, shipping. We're happy and friendly, so shoot us an email and uh, we'll be happy to help you.